Welcome back. I'm Eloise. Today we'll be working on a few simple ideas that will produce some amazing results. They all involve another kind of transformation called a reflection. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to reflect a shape, line or point about the x-axis and about the y-axis and identify the line of symmetry used to reflect a shape. Let's see what Rafilwe has been up to. She's been working on some kind of reflection task. Hi, Rafilwe. Oh, hi there, everyone. Just a second. That's it, all done. That looks interesting. What is it? A work of art made from the reflection of my name. It looks a bit like a space alien. Can you show us how you did that? It's quite simple, really. First, I took a page and folded it in half like this. Then I wrote my name in with a soft pencil above the folded line. Now watch this. I fold the page again and rub down hard over the name. This makes a reflection of my name on the other side. Then I had some fun. I colored and decorated mine. I gave it eyes and made it into an alien. That does look like fun. I think everyone watching should give it a try as well. So what are we going to do today? Believe it or not, we are going to take the idea of mirrors and reflections onto the Cartesian plane. Cool. I know a bit about reflecting now, so I should be always at that. Okay, why don't you pick a shape that we can reflect? Okay, how about a triangle? Okay, here is a triangle on the Cartesian plane. Let us see what happens to your triangle when we reflect it about the x-axis. I see how it works, but what if my triangle wasn't touching the x-axis? That's a good question. Let's look at triangle HIJ. I see. That one's not on the x-axis. Exactly. Let's reflect this triangle and see what happens. Wow. It looks like the two triangles are the same distance away from the x-axis. Let's check that by looking at the coordinates of the vertices and their images. Well, h is negative 3, 2. h prime is negative 3, negative 2 i is negative 2, 4, while i prime is negative 2 and negative 4. j is 3 and 1, while j prime is 3 and negative 1. I see now, h and h prime have y coordinates 2 and negative 2, which means they are the same distance away from the x-axis. The one is just two units up from the x-axis, and the other is two units down from the x-axis. The same with i and i prime. i is four units up from the x-axis, and i prime is four units down from the x-axis. j is one unit up from the x-axis, and j prime is one unit down from the x-axis. That's good, Rafilwe, but there's something else we need to keep in mind. The distance you are using is the perpendicular distance. What do you mean? Well, we can join any of the vertices of triangle HIJ and its image with a line segment. Let's join I and I prime, for example. If we measure the angle formed between this line segment and the x-axis, it is exactly 90 degrees. The distances are measured on this perpendicular line and are therefore known as perpendicular distances. I see. Now let's look closely at the coordinates of each vertex and the coordinates of each image. What do you notice? Well, um, I see it. The x coordinates are the same and the y coordinates are almost the same. It's just that they have opposite signs. Brilliant. That means that when you reflect about the x axis, the x-coordinates of a point and its image will be the same. We saw this in h and h prime, i and i prime, and j and j prime. The y-coordinates will have the same number but with opposite signs as we saw in h and h prime, i and i prime, and j and j prime. What will happen if you reflect things about the y-axis? Do you still find the reflections the same way? Well, I think we should do some reflecting and find out what happens. Have a look here. I have drawn a rhombus in the Cartesian plane. Its vertices are B, Q, R and S. 
I have also written the coordinates on the diagram. So P is 1, 1, Q is 2, 3, R is 4, 2, and S is 3, 0. This time we want to reflect the shape about the y-axis. So the y-axis is the mirror line. Let's see what happens when we reflect the rhombus about the y-axis. Rafil, can you read of the coordinates of the image of the rhombus P, Q, R, S? Well, P prime is negative 1, 1. Q prime is negative 2, 3. R prime is negative 4, 2. And S prime is negative 3, 0. Now compare the coordinates of the vertices and their images. What do you notice? The coordinates of P are 1, 1 while P prime is negative one, one. Q has coordinates two, three, while Q prime has coordinates negative two, three. R has coordinates four, two. Its image R prime has coordinates negative four, two. And lastly, S has coordinates three, zero. And its image has coordinates negative three, zero. I see what's happening here. It's just the opposite of what happened when we reflected about the X axis. What do you mean? When we reflected about the x-axis, the x-coordinates stayed the same and the y-coordinates changed signs. While here we have the y-coordinates that stay the same, while the sign of the x-coordinates changes. Good, Rufilwe. What else do you notice? Oh yes, the perpendicular distance from the y-axis also stays the same. Explain that a bit more. Well, see, P and P' prime are both one unit away from the y-axis. It's just that P is one unit to the right of the y-axis, while P' prime is one unit to the left of the y-axis. Well done, Rafilwe. You have found a pattern, and it will work no matter where you put the original shape on the plane. But let's just recap what we explore today. Today we have seen that when we reflect a shape about the x-axis, the x-coordinates of the image stay the same, while the sign of the y-coordinates changes. We also saw that when we reflect a shape about the y-axis, the y-coordinates of the image stay the same, while the sign of the x-coordinates changes. In both the above cases, we notice that the perpendicular distance from the axes to the original shape and its image is the same. Here's your task for today. Plot the points K, L and T and then join them to form a triangle. Reflect triangle KLT first about the y-axis and then about the x-axis and find the coordinates of the vertices of the new triangle. That's it for today. Rafilwe, did you enjoy that? Yes, it's even better than translation. Now I want to try reflecting out your name. Let's leave Rafilwe to reflect my name. See you next time with more transformations. Goodbye.